Why is the Trinity so important? Well, because it's Christian dogma. If you reject the Trinity, you're simply not a Christian. Going through the comments, I often notice people do not have a proper understanding of the Trinity. I frequently see comments describing modalism, adoptionism, subordinationism, tritheism, or views that I would consider heterodox. So I will explain the Trinity condensed and somewhat simplified. I'm not going to cite any Bible passages or quote any church fathers as this video would be way too long. I just want you guys to have a general understanding of what the Trinity is. Before I continue, I want to quickly refute the dumb objection that the concept of triunity is contradictory and doesn't exist. In mathematics, when we look at the number three, it is one number, yet it consists of three individual numbers. Clear and easy example of triunity. Now let's continue to the Trinity. There is one God, the Father. He is Ase, or self-originated, derives his divinity from no one but himself. He is unbegotten, and he eternally generates his word, the Logos, and his spirit. So the Father alone is Arotheos, the Arch a cause monarchy of the Godhead. He is eternally unbegotten. And the Son is eternally begotten of the Father, and the Holy Spirit eternally proceeds from the Father through the Son. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have the same divine essence. Therefore, they have the same divine properties, omniscience, omnipotence, etc. In other words, the divinity of the Father is completely identical to the divinity of the Son and the Spirit. But as mentioned earlier, the distinct persons or hypostases of the Trinity are distinguished by their personal or hypostatic properties. Properties. Such as the Father is unbegotten, the Son is begotten of the Father, and the Spirit proceeds from the Father through the Son, all uncreated and eternal. So God is eternal, His Word and Spirit are eternal, and since the Word and Spirit are uncreated, they partake of the same essence and nature He possesses. The eternal unity of God is fundamentally anchored in the person of the Father. All things originate from God through His eternal Word and in His Holy Spirit. So how can the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit not be three individual gods? Well, while us humans are contingent, spatially separated, exist independently, can disagree, and engage in individual actions, the distinct persons of the Trinity, God, His Word, and His Spirit are not spatially separated. They exist in inseparable and undivided unity, sharing the same will, knowledge, energies, and activities, united in essence and being. In other words, the concept of God as three individual gods is impossible. The word and spirit are hypostatically united to God, incapable of independent action. They operate in perfect harmony. Because God eternally possesses his word and his spirit, they exist inseparably from him, sharing his essence. And that is what the Trinity really is. God, his word, and his spirit united. 